Hot and sexy. Now, yeah, man, big papa is here. What is it? You've been bugging me too much. Now, break the ice. My floor stopped. Doctor confirms Sharon is pregnant. Killed your smell? You know I'm engaged to this lady I'm betrothed to. And we are getting married this weekend. You would do no such thing, Jerry. Not to Sharon. You know me well enough. Be reasonable for once, Sharon. Not after riding me like a horse and planting a seed inside me, Jerry. Go and cancel that wedding. I'm waiting to see your ring on my finger. Shut up, Sharon. That's your boss you're talking to. Big bro, this is no business time. We are talking matters of the heart and you have no idea what it's about. So please just stay out of it. You know I will never marry you. It's impossible. Sweetheart, try me. Auntie, there's a ghost as this. <laughs> Why'd you ask? Auntie, please answer my question. Well, I don't believe in ghosts. Excuse me. 
Good day, Auntie. Good day. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I want to tell you that I look very beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Even though my uncle told me that ghost doesn't exist, I thought that maybe you were one. You know why? No, tell me. You look just like my late auntie. Late, you said? Yes, my auntie is dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. What is your name? Charlene and you? I'm Mrs. Bonsu. Um, here, take some money, yeah? And buy yourself some coffee. Yeah, take it and buy some chocolates. No thanks, I don't take money from strangers. Will you be my friend? Of course. Yes, I'll be your friend. Do you have a telephone number? 021 I'll call you, okay? Oh, give me a oh. <laughs> I'll call you, okay? Take care of yourself. We're gonna have our oats tomorrow morning, eh? What about the biscuits? Yeah, one. They're gonna grow fast. Hey! You have the nuts? No. Can I help you? Alright, see you, sweetie. Bye. Ivan, she looks like your mother. That's right. I'm my mommy's sister. Who's your mommy? She's dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. What is your name? Divine. Divine. Divine, I have your number, so I'll give you a call, okay? Okay. Take care. And be a good girl. All right, you too. I will give you guys a call, okay? Sorry, sir. I'm listening. I must go directly to the crux of the matter. I am Daniel Bond's lawyer, the one you arrested during the drug raid. The drug raid, yeah. Go ahead. The case will go on, but you know our legal system. But that cocaine and the money which is in your custody is what I've come to talk about. It's not been made known to anyone. I mean, the exact amount of the money and the weight of the drug. Inspector Joe, we want you to keep 10% of the drug as evidence and return the rest. As for the money, mm, take 30% of the total amount as a reward from us. Use 10% as evidence and give us back 60%. Casey, come to the office right now. I'm waiting. Say something. You know, this is just the beginning of the relationship we're going to establish with you. Casey. Casey, I want you to listen to this man. Can you tell him what you just told me?
Can you talk? Casey, get this man out of my office before I do something stupid. What is it? Constable, come to the office right now. Constable, sir. take this man out now. Thank you, sir. What? Sending me out of your office, boss. <sighs> Katie, can you imagine? Giving me percentage figures. Can you believe it? Forget it. Hello, sir. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I'm very grateful. I will. Okay. Bye. All arrangements concerning my transfer to Aqua has been concluded. I resume work next month. Head office, Central Police Station, Accra. That's good. But you've still not told me about your choice of hotel and country for our honeymoon. Hmm. I'll think about it and give you an answer tonight. <laughs> I love you. I hate you. Less than everyone around me. <laughs> You're my strength. How does my kiss taste? Bitter. I bet it's the best lips you've ever tasted in your life. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Congratulations. For what? <laughs> okay, doctor. All right, okay. See you then. What is it? You've made me pregnant. He told me to be at the hospital by 12 noon. Are you coming with me? Device kept by that's on his way. You didn't tell me you lost your floor. It's because I wanted to be sure of it. Close your eyes.
kesme. That was the greatest surprise of my lifetime. Come on, my baby. Hey, how's your day been? Splendid. I will meet my husband to be Inspector Jim Johnson. Oh, I've read so much about you. And um, I'm pleased to meet you. Keep the good work. The pleasure is mine. Alright, have a seat. Yeah. Abe, your test results arrived. You're pregnant. But. I called you here to tell you your cancer returned. But there's good news. It can be cured. There is a hospital in China. I will get you admitted. Don't worry. You'll be cured. Stop giving me false hope, doctor. How much time do I have left? You don't need to get worried. Doctor, how much time do I have left? Three months. Thank you. Eve! Eve! See, I need you to convince Eve. She can be cured, though the cost of treatment is very, very expensive. But there's no guarantee. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor was talking about Joe, something. take me to Relax my... and listen. He was talking about a hospital in China. Doesn't it make you feel any better? Joe, I'm sorry you're not going to see me again. What do you mean? I don't want to put my troubles on you. Eve, what do you take me for? A man who just wanted to have a feel of you in bed and that's it? You see me like a guy who's going to abandon you because you're dying of cancer? No. What would you do? Can you save me from death? Can you cure me from my cancer? Can you give me a new life? Joe, my cure is not in your hands. Neither can you fulfill my desire of womanhood. Just take me home. Joe, take me home!
Okay. Divine, your call. Hello. Hello, it's your friend, Mrs. Bosu, remember? Of course, I do. Aren't you the beautiful friend I met at the supermarket? I've missed you. I've missed you too. You see, I promised to call and I did. Thanks for keeping your promise. Thanks for being my friend. When can I see you again? Um, at the moment, I'm preparing for my wedding ceremony. Am I invited? Of course. Aren't we friends? Just ask your auntie or dad to bring you to Unique Floor on Saturday evening. Thanks. I'll be there. Bye. <laughs> Alright. Bye, honey. What happened to her? Cancer is back. Eve! Tell me it's not true. Tell me I'm just kidding. Ivy, the doctor says he has a cure, but she's just been stubborn. I only have three months to live. And I don't even have a child to live after me. I'm dying empty. Your dad is here. Auntie is fine. Auntie is okay. I'm coming home soon. Bye. Will you come with me?
sisters. I am not avoiding your sister's call. She's now my ex. She is not your ex. She's carrying your baby. And so what? I have told her to get rid of that pregnancy. She's not getting rid of any pregnancy. You must marry my sister. What don't you get? I am getting married this weekend. Get it! Yeah, you know what your problem is? You can't tolerate the equality of a woman. You want a trash. But I'm not going to give you a chance to ridicule my sister like that. Do you understand? Say whatever you want to say and do your worst. I am getting married. After sleeping with my sister for years, because your father wants an arranged marriage for you, that will not happen. Father or no father, I am not getting married to a beast. Try me. Well, it's possible the money can be arranged. But you have to make the bank the beneficiary. Also, the loan can only be given on your life insurance policy. Just 15% interest. How soon can I get the loan on this policy? Madam, just five months. Five months? Why? Sir, it's too long. Do anything you can, please. This is a life or death situation. Please help us anyway. If I can, I will do it. I don't make policy decisions. But you do make recommendations, don't you? Of course. But the final decision rests on the board. I can't do anything. Sir, I'm dying. Please help me. I'm sorry. Very sorry. I can't do otherwise. Jerry. For the past years that I've been working with you, I've always been faithful and loyal to you. But what I wouldn't take from you is killing my sister's dreams and joy. I mean, you've made her pregnant and you're getting married on Saturday. What hopes do you have for her? Is there a pregnancy news? Now you tell her to terminate it. I will not abort this baby, Jerry. Go and cancel that wedding, else you have the devil to dine with, trust me. Sam, take her out of here. I don't want to be responsible for what happens next. Think of no such thing, Jerry. No one in my life. I love my sister. And I will not take any threat from anyone. Not even you, boss. So it's true what they say. Blood is thicker than water, huh? You stay out of it. And you, get rid of that shit. I'll see you when I come back from my honeymoon. Sam, let's go. Good luck, Jerry. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, Sam. Meet me at Soul Food immediately. Yeah, it's very urgent. Please, please hurry up. All right, all right. I'll be there. Sharon, I'll be right back. And don't do anything stupid.
Hello? Desmond, get ready. Sam will be out in no minutes. Okay. Today is just not a good day. Please. What's killing you up? Where is Sammy? Don't tell me you're not aware that Jerry is getting married today. And I'm carrying his baby. What? Is he aware of that? The bastard is aware. Desmond. I swear on my life, I'm going to expose him in the presence of his guest. I'm going to nail him down, then face the consequences.
going to talk to your uncle. Yeah. Okay, let me just call him. Hello? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Charlene wants to talk to you. Okay, hold on. Hello, uncle. I'm singing a song and I want you to come and watch me. Okay, then I nice. see you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It is a privilege for me to introduce to you a very, very special person. She is the next Whitney Houston. She is none but Baby Shaleen. I'm coming to sing a song that is so special to my uncle. It is with these eyes that I see And it is with my heart that I feel Hey, boom, dee, 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 dee. Boom, boom. I can feel this boom, beat boom. when I see you The song. My uncle. Who is your uncle? Sarah! This is the corpse of my sister you demanded for. She died carrying your baby in her womb. 
you promised to marry her. But you betrayed her. You took her pride. You took her pride of womanhood. Because you were afraid she was going to expose you. You finally killed her. Tell me, are you satisfied? Are you satisfied? Hello? Joe. Hello? Hello? Joe. Joe. Hello? Joe. Joe. talking to you and hiding my gaze from me, then I'm not telling the truth. Dad, I don't think you're telling me the truth. And you don't look happy. Come here. On the contrary, today is the happiest day of my life. Because whatever I thought was wrong became right. Dad, is my friend the same person in the photograph? No.
let the mountains fall to the ocean floor. Let the stars <laughs> Dad, there's something you're not telling me. Sir, I'm dying. Please help me. I'm sorry. Very sorry. I can't do otherwise. You see me like a guy who's gonna abandon you because you're dying of cancer? No. What would you do? Joe, my cure is not in your hands. Neither can you fulfill my desire of womanhood. What is it? <laughs> Money for your cure. I'll deliberately delay the investigation whilst we patiently wait for the loan. We're talking five months, Joe. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Hey, I could 
not sit down and watch you die or to have a lot of money getting rotten in the safe. Just think about it. You need to live for me, Eve. For Ivy. Divine. Our child. In jail. Than to see you die. I love you, Eve. I owe you my life, Joe. We're going for the cure in China. Joe, you're my hero. Come here. Mission accomplished. Mission well accomplished. Eve, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking that we take this money, change our identity, and elope. Elope to where? Boss is going to find you no matter where you go in the world. His wings are large. <laughs> Your loyalty and fears to him really marvels me. No, Ivy. Get your things ready. We're leaving a car early tomorrow morning. And the cash? He's gonna send Jeff to come for it at the airport. Eve, this money could change our lives for good. We need to take this money, leave this country, leave this business, and invest in something good. Tell me you want to end my life. I'm afraid so, Eve, since you've refused to reason. Don't be foolish. Don't start a war you can't fight. I want to make it on my own. And this money is going to help make my dream come true. If you want to steal, settle enough from yourself. Save your little saints and throw the briefcase to me. Ivy, you want to betray our friendship because of money? Husbands kill wives, fathers kill sons, and children kill their parents and loved ones for money. I can kill you to get rich. Throw me the briefcase and I'll spare your life. Ivy, don't waste my time, because I could pull the trigger right now. If you want to be a servant all your life, you better count me out. Ivy, let's talk about this. 
Ivy, I agree on your terms. We can split this money 50-50. Please hold the gun down. gone. I think we just saw a murder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we're on Al Almond Street. Yeah, by the American house. We're going towards the ANC mall. Yeah, could you please hurry? Okay, thanks. Bye. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. that I see and it is with my heart that I feel I can feel this beat when I see you
Baby, man. Oh, I think she's, she's, she's inside. She was trying to dress or something. I don't know. Hey. Ah. There ah. she is. Hot and sexy. Ah. Mm. 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 Now, yeah, man. Big Papa is here. What is it? You've been bugging me too much. Now, break the ice. My floor stopped. Doctor confirms Sharon is pregnant. Killed your smell? You know I'm engaged to this lady I'm betrothed to. And we are getting my 60%. Casey, come to the office right now. I'm waiting. Say something. You know, this is just the beginning of the relationship we want to establish with you. Casey. Casey, I want you to listen to this man. Can you tell him what you just told me? Can't you talk? Casey, get this man out of my office before I do something stupid. What is it? Constable, come to the office right now. Constable, sir. take this man out now. Thank you, sir. What? Sending me out of your office, boss. <sighs> Katie, can you imagine? Give me percentage figures. Can you believe it? She looks like your mother. That's right. Hi, my mommy's sister. Who's your mommy? She's dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. What is your name? Divine. Divine. Divine, I have your number, so I'll give you a call, okay? Okay. Take care. And be a good girl. All right, you too. I will give you guys a call, okay? Sorry, sir. I'm listening. I must go directly to the crux of the matter. I am Daniel Bond's lawyer. The one you arrested during the drug raid. The drug raid, yeah. Go ahead. The case will go on. But you know our legal system. But that cocaine and the money which is in your custody is what I've come to talk about. It's not been made known to anyone. I mean, the exact amount of the money and the weight of the drug. Inspector Joe, 
We want you to keep 10% of the drug as evidence and return the rest. As for the money, mm, take 30% of the total amount as a reward from us. Use 10% as evidence and give us back. Auntie, there's a ghost as this. <laughs> Why'd you ask? Auntie, please answer my question. Well, I don't believe in ghosts. Excuse me. Good day, Auntie. Good day. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I want to tell you that you look very beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Even though my uncle told me that ghosts doesn't exist, I thought that maybe you were one. You know why? No, tell me. You look just like my late auntie. Late, you said? Yes, my auntie is dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. What is your name? Charlene, and you? I'm Mrs. Bonsu. Um, here, take some money, yeah? And buy some coffee. Yeah, take it and buy some chocolates. No thanks, I don't take money from strangers. Will you be my friend? Of course. Yes, I'll be your friend. Do you have a telephone number? 021-666-222. I'll call you, okay? Oh, give me a oh. <laughs> I'll call you, okay? Take care of yourself. I this weekend. You would do no such thing, Jerry. Not to Sharon. You know me well enough. Be reasonable for once, Sharon. Not after riding me like a horse and planting a seed inside me, Jerry. Go and cancel that wedding. I'm waiting to see your ring on my finger. Shut up, Sharon. That's your boss you're talking to. Big bro, this is no business time. We are talking matters of the heart and you have no idea what it's about. So please just stay out of it. You know I will never marry you. It's impossible. Sweetheart, try me. <laughs> 